we got pregnant, it was a pretty uneventful pregnancy, but looking back, um, even from the beginning, I really sort of had a catch in my spirit about it. I think the Lord was preparing me a little bit for what was to come, and we went in for an 18-week ultrasound, just a normal ultrasound, and within just a few minutes, um, it was very clear that something was seriously wrong, and they explained to us that our daughter had several conditions that deemed her what they called incompatible with life. Well, you know, it's always a difficult balance in um, we have hope in the God of the universe who can who can raise people from the dead, who can do whatever He wants to do for His glory. We are entitled, we are allowed to have faith in a miracle. Um, the doctors are telling us that doesn't look like that's what's going to happen, so we need to be prepared for it. But really, um, sort of that balance between the possibility that it might be all right and dealing with the reality it probably wouldn't. And there were just some times though where you're like, how are we going to get through this? How are we going to get through this? And there really is, it's not a crutch. There really is no other way. There's no other way that you can keep going, you know. You have to have faith in Christ. And uh, over and over we saw how He carried us through, how He brought us through incredibly difficult situations. You know, the day that she was born, you know, before the C-section, I was just so afraid. I mean, just so afraid, not knowing what to expect. And the rest of the day was just so beautiful and so peaceful. And that was God being there in our, in our presence and walking us through this horrible, horrible situation. She did have bright red hair. She looked a lot like her sisters. And um, she did live for about two and a half hours. Todd Smith from the popular music group Sela and his wife Angie have written about their sacred dance of grief and joy. Their book is entitled, I Will Carry You. God asked this couple to trust him in a path of immense disappointment, suffering and loss. Mary Craig said, the only cure for suffering is to face it head on, grasp it around the neck and use it. The Smiths give us a portrait of redemptive suffering because they brought their pain to the one who died on a cross for them. No one understands like Jesus. He was a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Once again, the way was open for comfort, growth, and salvation for themselves and others, many others. Baby Audrey Caroline lived just two and a half hours after birth, but her life has had great significance. You can take the journey with her parents and three little sisters at 100huntley.com. The full interview is there. Well, many of you will know this face. Award-winning musician Stephen Curtis Chapman and his wife, Mary Beth, have been chasing hope after the storm. Uh, for years, they've been vocal advocates for adoption. Show Hope is the ministry they established to help families who want to adopt orphans from around the world. Well, you know that in May of 2008, one of their three adopted girls, five-year-old Maria Sue, was tragically killed in an accident. Stephen didn't know if he would ever write or sing another song. But his 2009 album, Beauty Through Pain, topped the Christian album chart. He asked the questions we all ask when horrible things happen to the innocent. And raw honesty leaves the listener with hope and encouragement. Today, Stephen says, if there's comfort to be given to others, then that is going to make some sense out of this. Part of what makes this survivable is that we can see God using it for good in the lives of other people. A full interview with Stephen is being aired later this month on 100 Huntley Street. Our Magdalene John caught up with him. You'll want to watch for that. Psalm 84, verses 5 to 7. Uh, these verses came to mind as I thought about both of these families. The message says, How blessed all those in whom you live, whose lives become roads you travel. They wind through lonesome valleys, come upon brooks, discover cool springs and pools brimming with rain. God traveled, these roads curve up the mountain, and at the last turn, Zion, God in full view. Redemptive suffering. There'll never be another act of love so pure or triumph so celebrated as the humility of the cross and the miracle of the empty tomb. Peace through hope, forgiveness through love, and eternity through sacrifice. 
If you're traveling a rough road, or maybe stuck in the valley of sorrow and weeping, we would love to pray for you. Whatever your need, there is hope waiting for you when you just pick up the phone and call our prayer line, anytime, day or night. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.